Charlotte homebuyers and sellers, are you ready for the latest scoop on the housing market? You better hold on to your hats because Becky McCulley, your Charlotte realtor, is about to reveal the truth behind the headlines. Goldman Sachs has revised its outlook upwards and now expects U.S. home prices to only fall 2.6%. But what does that mean for the greater Charlotte area? Get ready for a deep dive into the numbers and trends and find out how you can make a smart move in this competitive market. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all things housing market in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Becky McCulley, a local realtor right here in Charlotte. And today we're gonna take a deep dive into the Charlotte metro area housing market and explore what it means for both buyers and homeowners. This is not gonna be the clickbait fake news you keep hearing about because while some of the headlines are factually correct, they're very misleading. We're gonna pull back the curtain and dig into the data. Even Goldman Sachs has realized that it fell into this trap of reporting clickbait. They revised their housing market outlook upwards to say it now expects U.S. home prices to fall just 2.6% with a total decline from the market peak to the bottom of only a 6% decline. This is a far cry from the housing crash the fear mongers have been using to get attention. All right, let's talk local Charlotte metro area housing market. In January, we saw an increase in the new listings of 699 homes compared to December. Although the number of new listings is still lower than it was a year ago, it suggests a slight recovery in the market. And let me tell you, the decrease in available inventory of homes for sale went down by 1,247 units. This is a clear indicator that buyers are taking action. With the increase in pending sales by 1,158 units, it's a no-brainer that demand is on the rise. Buyers are becoming more active, taking advantage of the limited supply, and almost twice as many homes are going under contract compared to the new listings hitting the market. The median list to sales price remains consistent at 96.3%, which means that both buyers and sellers are on the same page when it comes to price negotiations. There's a consistent balance between the buyer and seller expectations. And although the days on market has increased by six days to 28, it's just a little hiccup on the road to success. So what does all of this mean? Well, in summary, the increase in pending sales in January is a positive sign of increased demand, indicating that the market is starting to recover. The stability of the median list to sales price at 96.3% suggests that prices remain steady. And with the modest increase in new listings and the active buying activity, the market outlook remains positive and the trend towards recovery is likely to continue. All right, so as we wrap up this video, if you have questions about the Charlotte area housing market, you're curious about how and when to use a realtor, or are looking for a local resource, that's what we're here for. When you decide to hire a real estate agent in the future, I wanna make sure that I'm the obvious choice. I wanna earn your business between now and when you decide to buy or sell your next home. I'd love to help any way that I can and guide you in the process. So reach out at info at We'll see you next time.